Astronomers detect dead suns colliding for the first time ever. Neutron star collisions are crucial to our understanding of the universe. A dense, collapsed star spinning at 707 times per second, making it one of the fastest spinning neutron stars in the Milky Way galaxy, has crushed and devoured nearly the entire mass of its stellar companion, growing into the heaviest neutron star observed to date. How could this be possible? Let's find out. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we'll be taking a look at how astronomers detected dead suns colliding for the first time. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. Weighing this record-breaking neutron star, which weighs 2.35 times the mass of the sun, able to help astronomers understand the strange quantum state of matter inside these dense objects, which collapse completely and disappear as a black hole if they get much heavier than that. According to Alex Filipenko, Distinguished Professor of Astronomy at the University of California, Berkeley, we know roughly how matter behaves at nuclear densities, such as in the nucleus of a uranium atom. A neutron star is like one giant nucleus, but when you have one and a half solar masses of this stuff, which is about 500,000 Earth masses of nuclei all clinging together, it's not at all clear how they will behave. According to Roger W. Romani, astrophysics professor at Stanford University, neutron stars are so dense, one cubic inch weigh more than 10 billion tons, that their cores are the densest matter in the universe short of black holes, which are impossible to study because they are hidden beyond their event horizon. The neutron star, a pulsar known as PSR J0952-0607, is thus the densest object visible from Earth. The neutron star's mass could be calculated thanks to the extreme sensitivity of the 10-meter Keck-1 telescope on Mauna Kea, Hawaii, which was only able to record a spectrum of visible light from the hotly glowing companion star, which has now shrunk to the size of a large gaseous planet. The stars are located approximately 20,000 light-years away from Earth in the direction of the constellation Sextens. Astronomers measured the velocity of a faint star, green circle, that had nearly all of its mass stripped away by an invisible companion, a neutron star and millisecond pulsar that they determined to be the most massive ever discovered and possibly the upper limit for neutron stars. PSR J0952-0607 was discovered in 2017 and is known as a Black Widow Pulsar, a reference to the tendency of female Black Widow spiders to consume the much smaller male after mating. Astronomers have been researching Black Widow systems for over a decade, hoping to determine the upper limit on how huge neutron stars and pulsars can expand. Astronomers stated that, by combining this measurement with those from several other black widows, we show that neutron stars must have at least this mass, 2.35 plus or minus 0.17 solar masses. As a result, at several times the density seen in atomic nuclei, this provides some of the strongest constraints on the properties of matter. Indeed, this result rules out many popular dense matter physics models. According to the researchers, if 2.35 solar masses is close to the upper limit of neutron stars, the interior is likely to be a soup of neutrons as well as up and down quarks, the constituents of normal protons and neutrons, but no exotic matter such as strange quarks or kaons, which are particles that contain a strange quark. And moreover, astronomers in Stanford University stated that a neutron star with a high maximum mass suggests that it is a mixture of nuclei and they are dissolved up and down quarks all the way to the core. Many proposed states of matter, particularly those with exotic interior compositions, are excluded. But how huge can neutron stars expand? 
when a star with a core mass greater than 1.4 solar masses collapses at the end of its life. Astronomers generally agree that it forms a dense, compact object with an interior under such high pressure that all atoms are smashed together to form a sea of neutrons and their subnuclear constituents, quarks. These neutron stars are born spinning and, though too dim to be seen in visible light, reveal themselves as pulsars emitting beams of light such as radio waves, X-rays, or even gamma rays that flash Earth as they spin, similar to a lighthouse's rotating beam. Normal pulsars spin and flash once per second on average, a speed that can be easily explained given a star's normal rotation before it collapses. However, some pulsars can repeat hundreds or even thousands of times per second, which is difficult to explain unless matter has fallen into the neutron star and spun it up. However, no companion is visible for some millisecond pulsars. One explanation for isolated millisecond pulsars is that each once had a companion, but it was destroyed, according to astronomers. The evolutionary path is utterly fascinating double exclamation mark, an astronomer exclaimed. As the companion star evolves and begins to become a red giant, material spills over to the neutron star, spinning it up. By spinning up, it becomes extremely energized and a wind of particles begins to emerge from the neutron star. That wind then strikes the donor star and begins to strip material away. And, over time, the donor star's mass decreases to that of a planet, and if more time passes, it vanishes entirely. So lone millisecond pulsars could form in this manner. They weren't alone to begin with, they had to be in a binary pair, but their companions gradually faded away, and now they're alone. This origin story for millisecond pulsars is supported by PSR J0952-0607 and its faint companion star. These planet-like objects are the dregs of normal stars that have contributed mass and angular momentum to their pulsar mates, spinning them up to millisecond periods and increasing their mass in the process, an astronomer explained. In the case of cosmic ingratitude, the Black Widow Pulsar, which has devoured a large portion of its mate, now heats and evaporates the companion down to planetary masses and possibly total annihilation, an astronomer further explained. According to researchers, finding Black Widow Pulsars with small but detectable companions is one of the few ways to weigh neutron stars. In this binary system, the companion star, which is now only 20 times the mass of Jupiter, is distorted by the neutron star's mass and tidally locked, similar to how our moon is locked in orbit so that we only see one side. The neutron star facing site is heated to around 6,200 Kelvin or 10,700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is slightly hotter than our sun and just bright enough to see with a large telescope. When a dead star collides, it will cause a flash of light and a powerful shock wave to ripple across the universe. It causes the entire universe to tremble. The resulting shock wave distorts space. When it is detected on Earth, the new telescope scrambles into action to determine its precise location. Finally, a study discovered that neutron star collisions are a gold mine of heavy elements. Mergers of two neutron stars have produced more heavy elements in the last 2.5 billion years than mergers of neutron stars and black holes. The majority of elements lighter than iron are created in the cores of stars. The white hot core of a star fuels proton fusion, squeezing them together to form progressively heavier elements. Beyond iron, scientists have been perplexed as to what could give rise to gold, platinum, and the rest of the universe's heavy elements, the formation of which requires more energy than a star can muster. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.